Imagine being in your car, driving at the cruising speed on a highway. Then, suddenly, the brakes engage and your car comes to a full stop. And why am I telling you all of this? Because this might be a future outcome for Godot. I'm Adrian and welcome to Redefine. A couple of days ago, Juan tweeted about the upcoming Godot 4. And it seems that all the major planned features are going to be in that version. And that's great. What got me worried a little were the following tweets that were describing the funding situation and that Godot will be running out of funds and without securing any new ones, probably they'll have to downsize the team and of course not stop completely the development of the engine but limit it heavily. What does this mean for Godot 4 exactly? Just by hitting the release button and publishing the game engine, it won't be finalized of course. The work will just start at that point because probably people will report out of bugs, there will be a lot of requests of new features or polishing the, the existing ones or who, who knows what new things are gonna appear that uh, nobody foresee. It's not enough just to release the project, then it will take probably one or two years of full development to reach a, a mature state where people can use the engine with all the functionalities that were intended for, for the initial release in a stable way and in a proper way to, for them to develop the games that they want. That doesn't mean you won't be able to develop games once Godot gets released, but of course there might be some small bugs or, or things that might be missing. Once I read these tweets, of course I headed to Reddit. One of the most upvoted posts were proposing a couple of different solutions. Of course I'm not gonna go into all of them, by the way I link the, the Reddit post here in case if you to check all of them. I'm gonna focus on three of those proposals and I'm gonna share you my thoughts about those. The first thing that caught my attention was creating a marketplace for Godot where people can create assets and sell them of course and the Godot team getting a cut out of them. But for a marketplace to work you need two things. You need the assets and you need the people to buy them. The first issue can be probably fixed by offering discounts for asset creators that are joining so that they get better deals in comparison to other asset stores. In order to get a lot of traction, you need also a lot of people. And while other asset stores are bigger, probably Godot is, will be still smaller and it's probably a long-term goal instead of a short term that will deliver the money that's needed to fund the project. So while this is a good idea in general, it won't help the project significantly in one or two years from now. It will help it in five years, in 10 years, then we'll have a fully fledged store with all the goodies inside and the community to buy from it. Another point was making Godot merch and this is great. I mean, people will probably buy it, but you won't have a secure way of making predictable income and in a business and even open source. I mean, if, if you run out of funds, then you have to close the project or rely on people that have other jobs that can sustain the project. So even in open source, you still need money to continue working on the project. So without a reliable income source, you cannot have a merch that can actually sustain the engine. It can be a nice increase of uh, funding to probably do something else like implement extra features but it won't deliver the main chunk of revenue. Another thing that caught my attention was also offering paid courses from the official Godot team. And I think this directly clashes with the open source mentality of the whole project because it will get some access to, to the knowledge of the engine. Now let's get going with my thoughts about the whole situation. I discovered Godot recently while moving from Unity by dwelling here. And I started promoting it like crazy. I even helped create create a, a big game jam around it. By the way, check the link in the details for more. Go Godot Jam. But I think Godot does need a sustainable source of income. And probably that will come from big companies supporting the project with money. But you won't have big companies because of the issues mentioned here. Right now, the most powerful asset that Godot has it's, is community. And we as the community need to help contribute to the engine in any way possible. That doesn't mean we have to contribute only with money. I mean, that, that would be great. It will directly help the developers, but generating awareness for di making different events or creating games because, for example, Godot doesn't have a game that people can point at it and say, hey, that game was made with Godot and it's really something big. It turned out something really big. So there are a couple of small things, like, for example, the misunderstandings going around the engine by the link here. We need to help make make the engine grow big in one way or another, either supporting the development directly or creating awareness or help dispelling myths about the engine or creating awesome games that would uh, bring value to players and also will put Godot on the game development map. These are just a couple of options. I think on the long run, Godot will be really big as an engine. 
it's up to us to determine if that comes sooner rather than later because the development won't stop even if they run out of funds but it will definitely slow down a lot so we need to make sure that doesn't happen think about it i'm adrian and see you in the next one